All right, and one another day from Yemi Alade featuring Select Bobo. You have to be thankful each and every day. Whether you have money or not, be thankful. All right, here is the brands and industry segment of the Debra Show. My name is Olola De Soyalu. This is a program where we roll out the stories um, in the business sector. Okay, let's start with the very first story. African richest man, Aliko Dangote, is constructing a 250 million naira University of Ibadan Business School as part of moves to expand the Dangote brand into the Nigeria's tertiary education sector. The business school, according to Dangote, will soon be ready for commissioning. The university management has equally decided that the building when completed, will be named Aliko Dangote Complex. The business mogul is also carrying out a similar project in the Bayero University Kano in the Kano metropolis. The University of Ibadan Business School project being undertaken by the Aliko Dangote Foundation is in fulfillment of its pledge during the 2017-2018 convocation ceremony of the university when it was conferred with a honorary doctorate degree. The chief executive of the Dangote Foundation, Zora Yusufu, explains that the project will be delivered to the university in February 2018. Now, this venture is part of a 2 billion naira investment by the Aliko Dangote Foundation across various institutions in support of tertiary education in Nigeria. On the Bayer Business School, the foundation boss explains that on commencement, the business school will be the third accredited business school in the country and the first in the north, others being University of Lagos Business School and University of Ibadan Business School. Moving to the petroleum sector, Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC says, 13 out of the 35 investors seeking to establish modular refinery has been issued with licenses by the Department of Petroleum Resources, as DPR. NNPC Group Managing Director Dr. Mekanti Baru says the first foundation stone of Nigeria's modular refinery project will be laid in by Yelsa State in February. Baru also says that NNPC is targeting to forward the agreement for the selection of financials for the Port Harcourt Refinery Company Limited, also the Worry Refinery and Petrochemical Company Limited, and the Kaduna Refining and Petrochemical Company Limited to the Corporation's Board during its meeting this month. Baru also spoke on the project while briefing members of the staff of the Corporation on the fuel supply situation in the country during a town hall meeting in Abuja and explains that once NFPC secures the funding for the repositioning of the refineries, the target, he said, was to achieve 90% capacity utilization before the end of next year. Away from that, directors of several companies are finalizing arrangements to meet to review and approve the earnings report and account for the 2017 business year preparatory to send the account for release to invest in public at the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Boards of Directors of United Bank for Africa, UBA PLC, Guaranteed Trust Bank, GT Bank, Zenith Bank PLC, Continental Reinsurance and many others quoted companies have scheduled meetings later this month to approve the audited financial statement and account for the year ended December 31, 2017. The meetings will, among others, consider dividend recommendations to be made to shareholders. The Board of Directors of UBA has scheduled its meeting for Monday, January 29, 2018, where the Board will consider the financial statement for 2017 and also proposals for final dividend for the 2017 financial year. UBA had earlier paid an interim dividend of 20 kobo per share, after the audit of its 2017 half-year result. Also, the Board of Directors of Continental Reinsurance are scheduled to meet on Wednesday, January 31, 2018, in Lagos. Captain Secretary Continental Reinsurance PLC, Abim Bola Falano, in a statement confirmed that the meeting would discuss dividend payment. The Board of Fala Deco will also be meeting later today to discuss dividend payment. Financial services companies, including banks and insurance companies, 
are statutorily required to submit approved audited results to their primary regulators for clearance before release to the NSA and the investing public. And under the enhanced listing rules at the NSA, which took effect on January 1, 2017, quoted companies are expected to submit their annual audited account to the exchange not later than 90 calendar days after the relevant year end. NASCON Allied Industry PLC, a subsidiary of Dangote Industries Limited, says it is investing in backward integration projects to add more value to both its shareholders and the Nigerian economy. Nigerian, or chairman of the company's board of directors of NASCON, Mrs. Yem Siayeni, announces this while addressing stockbrokers on the floor of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Addressing stockbrokers, she says the company has performed strongly despite the harsh operating environment, delivering good returns to all stakeholders. NASCON Allied Industries, according to her, is a company to watch out for in the future due to its performance as it is breaking new ground while embarking on projects that will enable it to remain a reference point in the food industry. The company's managing director and chief executive of NASCON, Mr. Paul Farrer, also says the company is planning fresh investments that would enable it boost efficiency in its operations. The exchange managing director and chief executive, Mr. Oscar Onyama, in his welcome remarks, commended the board and management of NASCON for their efforts in ensuring that the company is run effectively. Apple has unveiled a new app health records which allows users to bring all their medical records together within one app rather than logging into every single provider separately the app health records will work with existing doctors and hospitals to put all health information into one place the app is currently available to patients of 12 medical institutions in the u.s but more will follow and all data will be encrypted to ensure privacy Another app on Apple's stable iOS 11.3 has four new animoji, including a bear, a dragon, a skull, and a lion. And this brings the total number of animoji up to 16. Business charts will also launch within the Messages app as an 11.3 better future. And this will allow users to communicate directly with business such as Hilton, Discover, and Wells Fargo. All right, now with that story, we come to the end of Brands and Industry segment of the Daybreak Show. At a quarter past nine, it will be time for the open day segment of the Daybreak Show. My name is Olola Desoyalu. Please do stay tuned.